Two weeks ago, my channel got terminated and I live and breathe YouTube. So much so my doctor actually thinks that I may be developing stage one lung cancer. And to put things bluntly, I got caught in a YouTube trap. And now there's a new trap, a copyright flagging tool that's going to be released in the near future that if administered to your channel, could be deadly. But I wanna help you avoid this trap. Hell, I wanna help you avoid all the traps. Hey, my name is Ryan, and if you guys like hearing the news, keeping up on what's current, but you don't wanna be so serious about it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Today we're gonna to go over the secret traps underneath the terms of service. But before we do that, frequently I collaborate with my friend Eric, and he's gonna to explain to you the new copyright tool and some copyright basics. So Eric, let's drop some knowledge. You know, Ryan, I was thinking the other day, my channel's going pretty well, but that's kind of boring. Like, what can I do to mix it up? Ooh, yeah, you know what? I'll get some copyright strikes. There's a new tool that YouTube is just about to release. It's called Copyright Match, but you need three strikes to get terminated that way. If you wanna find out how to get it terminated immediately without any warning at all, stick around to the end of this video. After my segment, Ryan is gonna show you exactly how to do that. I'm a small creator in YouTube and I'm thinking to myself, man, I just wanna blow up. I can't wait. Ooh, I got some good ideas. I'm gonna use some copyrighted material like this. And yeah, it's totally fine just to like upload a long segment of a video from a TV show or a movie and just not comment on it at all because that's how you grow in YouTube. However, YouTube is releasing this new tool called Copyright Match and it's gonna allow creators like you and me to find if other people are uploading our copyrighted material and identify it. YouTube is scanning all the videos that are uploaded on a continual basis. So if someone takes my video and they upload part of it or all of it, the creator match tool is gonna show you and identify those videos for you. Once the video has been uploaded, there's three actions you can do. One of them is actually nothing, so that's not really an action. The other one is you can contact the creator. And third, you can ask the creator to take the video down. Now, I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that is gonna result in a copyright strike for the creator that used your video. The tool is focused on finding re-uploads of all or most of the content in original videos. This prevents false matches for common clips like video game cutscenes or potential fair use cases like short clips used for commentary or review. Now, obviously this goes both ways. As a creator, this makes me happy that I can identify people that are stealing my content. On the other hand, if you've stolen or used somebody else's content without their permission, that could be bad for you. So if you've got content like that, I would definitely recommend you go through your channel and probably delete the videos that you think might be offending. If you're using a clip from a popular TV show or a movie, there's something called Content ID. And that's an automated system whereby the studios submit their movies and their TV shows, and YouTube then scans videos that are uploaded and they will automatically put a strike potentially on your video if you're using something like that. And who doesn't want to get like a little whack by a bot? That sounds kind of fun. But I'm a news channel. What about fair use? Fair use is a legal doctrine that allows a creator to use certain elements of copyrighted material provided that they meet certain criteria. Now there's three other major elements too, but it's too long for this video. So if you want to see a video on fair use, just comment down below and Ryan and I are going to make another video. YouTube treats music a little bit differently from other copyrighted material. The bottom line is you cannot use copyrighted material without permission. And there's a couple things that might happen if you do. Your video might get taken down and you might get penalized. You might get kind of some kind of strike that is not as common. Your video might be muted and there might be no audio or music in it at all. The video might not play in some countries perhaps and the owner of the copyrighted music might run ads on your video and take the revenue for that as well. To avoid this situation, there's two things you can do. There's a lot of decent copyright free music on YouTube itself. There is also online services like Epidemic Sound, Audioblocks, and there's some stuff on SoundCloud that also has a Creative Commons license. You can use that as well. All this copyright stuff stuff is kind of confusing and really you need three strikes to get terminated. That's too slow. If I want to get terminated with no warning at all, Ryan is going to show you how to do that because he's done it. Back over to you, Ryan. Now I like to live on the edge. I'm a huge believer 
in yellow. So I suggest you all get your channel terminated at least once. And you know, I can't promise that you're gonna get your channel back as I did. Life's all about the experiences, am I right? Now you need to understand there are two kinds of terminations. One comes without a warning, such as what happened to me, aren't I blessed? The other comes with two warnings and then three strikes, you're out, you can kiss the teat of YouTube goodbye. So what are the specific reasons accounts can be terminated? One is the strike system. As I mentioned before, these strikes are issued when a violation of the community guidelines occurs. This includes includes but is not limited to videos that contain nudity or sexual content, hateful content, threats, spam, misleading metadata, and I'm going to get to all of these specifically in a moment, so stick around. I think it's also important to mention what each strike means for your channel. If you get a strike, you'll probably get an alert and you'll be able to check that in your channel settings. Now it's important that you don't freak out. Okay, a strike doesn't last forever. It's just three months. For instance, accounts with one strike may be restricted from live streaming. A second strike, okay, it's getting a little bit heated now. Generally, this means you won't be able to post new content on YouTube for about two weeks. So perhaps maybe a good timeout. And three strikes within a three month period means boom, drop dead, your game is over. Now straight terminations where no strikes are involved often come from a single case or severe abuse of the guidelines or terms of service, such as predatory behavior, or spam. In addition, repeated violations of the terms of service or community guidelines could lead to a straight termination without a strike. Severe violations such as spam or child endangerment run you up creek with very little chance of you being reinstated. Now that we're freshened up, how about we hit some of my favorite ways to get terminated in a segment I would like to call a quick path to success by failure. One of the best ways to get terminated is to go against the terms of service rule, spam deceptive practices, and scam policies. This is actually a very broad spectrum of violations, uh, which I have some personal experience with, and can range from video channel or comment spam, where posting large amounts of untargeted, unwanted, or repetitive content in videos may result in a strike or an excessive violation, straight termination. Also, if the main purpose of your content is to drive traffic off YouTube, just don't. Another big one is misleading or racy thumbnails. Look, I get it, thumbnails are a major player in a video success. That being said, make sure you select the thumbnail that best represents your content. Selecting a sexually provocative thumbnail may result in the removal of your thumbnail or age restriction of your video. Though I know a certain Paul brother or two that do this on the regular without any real repercussion, that probably won't apply to you, you're not them. In addition, if you really want to get your channel terminated, make sure you extort others with scams. You could use the old classic, the Nigerian Prince, but do you really think that I'm gonna fall for that? <laughs> okay, that was one time. Other repeated violations come from such things as misleading metadata. Now that sounds complex, but it refers to any and all additional information provided on a video such as title, description, tags, and of course, that racy thumbnail. If you're trying to game the system and the algorithm, then you just got a free ticket to Strike City. What about harmful, violent, and harassing content or comments? Now this is kind of a balancing act. There's a fine line between what is and what is not considered to be hate speech and malicious attacks in the comments. For instance, it's generally okay to criticize a nation state, but if the primary purpose of the content or comments is to incite hatred against a group of people solely based on their ethnicity, it violates the policy. Now look, I know this has been pretty intense so far, so how about we lighten it up with some impersonation Everybody likes impressions, but accounts that are established to impersonate another channel such as copying the text or just plain out pretending to be someone that you're not may cause that channel to be removed under the impersonation policy. And there are some rules that I feel are kind of self-explanatory such as privacy and nudity. Just don't dock someone with their personal information and please just keep your body clothed, okay? Zip it or skip it. Now what I've given you are the basics and in some cases specifics on how to keep away from the grabby hands of YouTube. But please, for the love of God or whatever deity you worship, read the terms of service. You should now be an expert on how to get terminated. Take it from me and if you want to learn how to keep your channel protected, go check out my friend Nick Nimmin's video, link above and in the description. Remember, I'm Ryan and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.